episode of Mailbag. I haven't done one of these in a couple of months. When last I did one of these videos, I put out a call for mailbag questions, and I got a couple of responses. So I repeat that call here. Send me an email for my next episode of Mailbag, and if I get enough responses or interesting pieces of physical mail, I'll try to have one of these up by my birthday, which is in late January. Now, I'll, you can also send questions via snail mail. I have a P.O. box for that sort of thing. All of that is in the description box. That all having been said, I do want to also show the mail I got from people over the year, not on an individual piece-by-piece -piece basis, but, well, I mean, look at this giant pile. That drawer that is poorly lit, like I say, there's a reason I don't go on, a couple reasons I don't go on camera besides, a, you know, distorted vanity. <laughs> look at that box. I mean, it's kind of poorly lit, but that's full of mail from you guys. That's 2020's pile of mail. Some of it comes from direct donations, which is appreciated, some of it in the form of well wishes, and some of it art, as well as a few books I've gotten over the year, though those are on my bookshelf. I don't throw the mail away, so that is all going to be hung on to. <laughs> and whenever I get mail, I'm humbled, especially the well wishes, so thank you for that and for your support in 2020. On to 2021, which should be an especially interesting year. I'll have a quasi-announcement at the end of this video that I do want your feedback on, so stick around to the end or skip ahead. First, let's look at some mail for the last couple of months. This picture represents the letters and donations via mail since the last mailbag. In the past, I've been able to show artwork and books and whatnot that people sent. Mostly, it's been standard mail, which is great. But I also wanted to show these two pictures, which came from listeners who heard me mention Mystic Monk Coffee on a stream. They sent these mugs and coffee. I have enough coffee now to last through the cold, dark winter we've been promised. And as such, I want to thank the listeners who sent it. This mug has Mystic Monk's Cowboy Blend, which I particularly like. A shout-out goes to Mystic Monk. They're great, as well as Abbey Rose Coffee. They're also great. I also want to thank our channel sponsors over at Glory and Shine, who've been great and are a small Catholic company. You see their promo at the beginning of this and most weekend video or weekday videos. They make soaps and lotions and self-care products. Check their site out in the link in the description box. Again, they make good products. I like them. Now, I want to focus on this postcard, which I'm going to ask that you pray for the men who sent it to me. It reads, Konnichiwa. Greetings from Okinawa. Been deployed here since the current situation started. Thanks for your videos. They gave us Catholics abroad a lot of spiritual strength and help us still, some still struggling without the Eucharist. Despite our strict situation, we find it solace in videos like yours, and it has surprisingly deepened our faith. Your brother in Christ, Robert. JMJ, Ave Maria. Now, he gave his full name, and like I always like to say, I try to keep the identity of people who write or send anything as anonymous as possible. I'd love it, though, if you could pray for the servicemen and Robert who are overseas in the present situation. They're easily forgotten, and I can only imagine what their access to the sacraments must be like right now. This postcard is a perfect example of some of my favorite mail to get. The kind words from you. The listener who, and which always arrive Oddly, at the time I need them most, usually when I'm feeling a little burned out or discouraged or having the normal human reaction to having to talk about the kinds of things I have to talk about here. That having been done, let's dive into the questions that I got. Both of these come from patrons of the channel over at Patreon. Joel asks, Are there any prophecies within Catholic tradition that would point to peace in the Holy Land prior to the appearance of the Antichrist and Jesus coming again? That's a good question, and if you're paying attention to the happenings in the city of man right now, they are particularly timely questions. Beginning at the source material, that is, sacred scripture, in St. Paul's first letter to the Thessalonians, we get a clear reference to this in chapter 5, wherein he tells us that the world will be celebrating peace right before things go to pot for the world. Verse 3 tells us that this will happen right before destruction comes. Whether this means before the man of sin arrives is anyone's guess. The most pertinent prediction comes from Lois Erlmeyer, a per personal favorite of mine, who foresaw a time of peace that would suddenly uh, be broken in that region of the world. That would involve navies and the like. This would be the spark that sets off the material portion of the major chastisement, if he is to be believed. And given what else he is said to have seen, and given some news coming out of Canada these days, I'm inclined to believe him. Now, that having been said, Lois Erlmeyer's uh, predictions do end positively. It, it is also the transition period from the fifth age of the church to the sixth age of the church, where we are presently in the fifth, 
And the sixth is the time of the angelic, uh, the angelic pontiff and the, uh, the uh, great monarch. So, <laughs> uh, a low Sermeyer is good for this sort of thing. It, now, um, for those interested, I have two videos already on Alois Sermeyer, and I'll try to have one as the recommended video at the end of this one. So keep your eye out on that if you haven't seen them. I've done two on him. Both are very similar because in the second one I do sort of repeat a lot of what he said, but he also may have seen some things about the Three Days of Darkness as well, if I remember correctly. Anyway, the second question comes from Joe. Oddly, he sent this one in through Patreon like a year ago, but the system never let me know that I received it. I found it yesterday, purely by accident. Strange. My apologies, Joe, and I know you often listen because you appear in live chat sometimes. His question. The book of Revelation is mostly written in, in an allegorical style. I'm thinking of the man of sin. It seems to me that he doesn't have to be a person. The term can refer to something else. That is a good question. Now, here's the thing. The church has said definitively that the man of sin will be a man, not a system, not a supercomputer, not a philosophy, but a man, and that this is dogma. The church today, the church in better times, and the church, and the fathers of the church, rather, are in universal agreement. He will be a man. Some think he is already among us, but has yet to make his appearance. For everyone's sake, I hope not, but we'll see. I maintain that the carnival ride of 2020 will continue into 2021, and that would be an almost fitting thing to happen before things get any better. Or deeper dive into the man of sin, I have several videos on that subject from Cardinal Manning and Cardinal John Henry Newman, so check those out. They get into some of the more complex ideas about him, but it's worth getting to know what the church has to say. It may come in handy, unfortunately. Now those are the questions I have gotten for a mailbag video. And like I said at the beginning, if you want to send more, send them to me in an email at the address in the description box of this video. Put in the subject line, mailbag question. The address on the sources blog, though, is wrong. I do need to get that fixed. I just don't, I'm not sure how to do it. So send me, a, or you can send a question in a letter to my PO box listed in the description box of this video. If you send a donation or something in the mail, please include an email address so I can thank you and add you to my early access list. All patr patrons on Patreon, subscribe star, or through the join button on YouTube or through the old fashioned mail, get early access to weekend videos and the We Were Warned series when I make those. So include an email address so I can include you in that. And I also do uh, patron-only streams, though oftentimes it's hard to get those scheduled where there'll be a more, more than a couple of people watching. So now onto the announcement. I'm thinking of starting a second channel. This came to mind because of the silly monolith story that just turned into story after story after story. In fact, there have been more developments in that that I haven't made videos about. And now the story of the flying saucer and little spacemen that came out of the Holy Land this week. Normally I would do a video on that kind of thing for an end times watch video, but that series morphed into almost telling you why these kinds of stories aren't worth getting distracted by. When that series was meant initially to be about the need to be aware of odd things happening that are very real and worth paying attention to. So I thought about making a second channel to cover the preternatural and weird stories like the monolith and flying saucers and the such. Do you have any interest in that? It wouldn't be a daily upload. I'd plan probably a twice-a-week schedule over there. Plus, it's often handy to have a backup channel. Let me know if that's a good, if you think that's a good idea or not. To make it work, I would need some of you to describe, subscribe near the launch of it. If I do that, it would be pretty soon. So, that's it for Mailbag for 2020. It has been a wild year. And the support of the viewers has made this possible. My family and I appreciate it, and thank you for that support. My suspicion is that in 2021, we're going to see the need for Catholics to support the people they like more than in this year. And I don't say that out of self-interest, but because the internet landscape is getting more and more unfriendly by the day. Many of us are looking at options to keep these messages going, and I'm not just talking about myself either. You know, Name your favorite Catholic comment, uh, content creator, and they are going all in the same boat. So watch for when it happens. And if you're not getting recommended videos from me anymore but are seeing this, find the Return to Tradition Facebook page and follow it, where I post videos daily. Make sure to check to see if you're still subscribed, because I've been told by some people that they have mysteriously found themselves not subscribed anymore without, their, without them doing it themselves. Again, link in the description box of this video to the Facebook page, or go to the Sources blog. You can sign up for an update there, but it'll send you an email when I post things, which is daily. Hope your Advent is going well, and that you have a holy and merry Christmas. You are all in my prayers. Thank you for listening. I'm Anthony Stein. Ave Maria.